also heard the some overview of Samsung story. Samsung was founded in 1938 as a small company dealing in dried fish and noodles. It's entered the electronics industry in the late 1960s and today is the largest manufacturer of smartphones, televisions and memory chips in the world. And Samsung rising the inside story of South Korean Kent that set out to beat Apple and conquer hack. Geoffrey can provide an expose of this secretive company drawing on interviews with Samsung employees and market watchers Jane, an American journalist who has reported on Samsung for more than 10 years explores the company cultures, product success and failures. The book charts the rise of the global technology gant and examines its influence on the international technology industry and the politics and culture of South Korea. Ken calls Samsung a strange labyrinth of a company, and his engaging book reads like a dynastic story covering three generations of the Lee family. In 1938, Lee Penchel dropped out of college and founded a small business. Lee Penchel dropped out of college and founded a small business he named Samsung Trading Company. The initial corporative logo had three stars and was based on a graphical representation of the Korean Hanja word Samsung. Bang Chil was inspired by Mitsubishi and created a family-centric chebol management structure for the company. Samsung behaved much like a traditional Japanese company where executives did as they were told without argument. This corporate behavior together with help from the government allowed the company to grow quickly, expanding into sugar refining media, textiles and insurance. Samsung was considered an economic miracle. Following a fight over inheritance, Bang Chil was succeeded by his third son Lee Kun Hee in 1987. Then he invested heavily in semiconductor technologies and transformed Samsung from a manufacturer into a global technology powerhouse. In 2014, he was hospitalized with a heart attack, which left him in a coma. Since then, his son Lee Jae Young, who is regarded as more easy going than his predecessors, has served as the facto head of the company.